How long have I been here at the museum? Well, my first involvement with this museum began in 1963 when I came on a third grade school tour from Lafayette Elementary School out in Floyd Knobs, Indiana. Um, Mrs. Loretta Howard, who was the last member of the family to live here in the mansion, was the guide and curator. Uh, she had also been uh, secretary and treasurer of the shipyard. She was just a very gracious lady and just captivating, and I was just awed by her and she took our class through and showed us the steamboat models and the artifacts and the great stories she told. Uh, even one time she served as a cook on a delivery of a steamboat. And I was just so awed by her that I was soon hooked on steamboats. The museum is very important to the community because so many generations of area residents have worked in the shipyard uh, beginning in 1834 and right up until today with Jeff Boat being the nation's oldest continuously operated inland river shipyard. Uh, and Jeffersonville exists because of the river and so the museum is the heritage of the shipyard and so it's a very important aspect of the regional community. Is the museum haunted? I know in this day and age it's very uh, in vogue for all museum houses to have a resident ghost and I'm sorry to say that we don't have one. Uh, the Howards were very devout Episcopalians and I guess they all crossed over happily and have not returned. Uh, but people are always asking if we have a ghost here and in all, my four decades plus of involvement with the museum I've never seen or heard anything that would make me think we have a ghost in the house. Our historic carriage house is very important to the museum's uh, future. Uh, it was constructed in the 1880s and was actually utilized by the family as a dwelling during, while the mansion was under construction. It burned in 1905 and at that time they took the opportunity to relocate back a little further from the house. I assume maybe the smell of the horses was a little too close to the big house. Uh, so when they rebuilt it they added the second story that you see today out there. But we're very excited that we're finally moving ahead to restore it and we'll use it as a community resource for business luncheons and dinners and exhibits, wedding receptions. And we can use it as a rental facility which will greatly benefit the future of the museum. So it's a big step for us and we're really excited about it. What do I enjoy most about my work here at the museum is uh, the great variety of visitors we have uh, that come from all over the country and many from foreign countries. It's just sharing. Of course, it's always been a big thing to me since I was a child and I had my first visit here uh, to share the history of steamboating and what makes this place so unique with uh, the shipyard workers actually constructing this great Victorian house and just sharing that with people who appreciated it. I enjoy giving tours, especially to people who appreciate it as I do. We're very happy to have children as our visitors, uh, and especially gratifying to me when we have children who show an interest in history. In this electronic age, when children a lot of times are busy with their electronic devices and not paying attention to things, when I have children come in who are just captivated by this house and the riverboat models and exhibits as I was as a nine-year-old 52 years ago. Uh, it really means a lot to me to share that history with young people and I hope that they will pick that up and carry it on. I had a lady on a tour one day when she found out I had been here over four decades involvement with the museum patted my hand and she said honey who's going to love this place when you're gone and I told her I said well that is something I think about because we do need young people to pick up the torch and carry on when the rest of us have passed on.